Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to organize and clean my toddler's little side area downstairs in our house. Um, these are the bins, so they have organized, organizing labels and everything on them, but they just all need to be cleaned out. Um, we've passed Easter, Valentine's Day, all those little holidays, so she's gotten a lot of little junk toys that just need to either be thrown out and there's just some toys that needed to be rotated out. So I'm gonna go through all of these bins cause stuff sticking out of the top like drives me crazy, I, especially in this one. So I'm gonna go through all of the bins. Some stuff I'll store and then we can bring out at a later date. Some things I'm going to give away or throw away if they are torn and tattered. Um, I have a bag here to throw some things away. And then on her easel, they have organization and bins on the bottom. But as you can see, she has like thrown trash and whatnot in them. So I just need to go through all of this stuff and get everything cleaned up. So I just filmed an amazing video how, how I organized my toddler's um, play space downstairs but all the footage was lost so I'm just gonna go over everything that I did um this rug we got from Amazon and I absolutely love it um it's fluffy it's easy to clean it's easy to wipe clean it's super easy um all of her bins and baskets this one was from home goods but this one has like the cars in there her bigger toys some of her and then there's Brooklyn. Some of her, um, Brooklyn, go on the other side, baby. Yeah. Some of her bigger toys. Um, this was overflowing. I may have footage of that. I think I do, but I, I don't have footage of me actually organizing everything because that one wouldn't upload for some reason. So I went through everything and cleared out everything. I wiped down all of her shelves with, um, the oil and water mixture just to get out the dust. Um, she has three bins down here that I organized. Pencils, crayons, and there you go. Right here. Yes. And chalk. And then these I just cleaned out each of the bins and put des what the designated item in there. Um, Legos don't really get too messy. Books, I try to go through these um, at least monthly and only put the ones in there that are season appropriate. I cleaned out all of her kitchen stuff, so no junk in there. Okay. Okay, and she's putting stuff in. These are her smaller toys, and this is what I really had to go through because she had a lot of like Easter, Easter and um, Valentine's Day like little junky toys that I needed to throw out. Her puzzles, um, all of these puzzles, there's about five in there. They all have their pieces. And then here I put in balls and small cars. For this area, this is her easel. And then her little Barbie cars there. I put the Mr. Potato Head in this bin because it was empty. And then here's just all of her art materials. So we have chalk. We have washable markers and paper and coloring books in here. Um, I think it's imperative that you organize your toddler's space and have a space for everything. She can clean up her area because she knows what where everything goes. In addition to that, some people may say, oh, why do you have words written when she can't read? But this is how, I'm a teacher, so this is how they link a product to its written word. So having Legos written on there and L-E-G-O-S, she will learn to formulate that that, even though she can't read, that equals Legos and she'll put those in there. The same with books, the same with the kitchen stuff, she's playing with small toys, the same with puzzles and the same with balls. And also with these items too, she can sort the pencils in this one. She can sort, sort the crayons in this one and she can sort sort the chalk in that one. Even though she can't read, she associates that print to what's there. Um, in addition, I wiped down everything, this area, 
her little table. I wiped down everything with the vinegar and water mixture, and then I just put up her 4th of July items. So I'm so sorry, folks, that my footage got deleted, but that is how I organize. And I try to do this every few months, just going through toys and storing things or checking stuff that doesn't really work because... It just keeps things neat and nice. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you enjoyed seeing how I organize my toddler's toys in our um, family room area, give this video a thumbs up. And then I'll have Brooklyn say bye. Say bye, you two. Bye. Look up. Say bye. Give it a thumbs up. Awesome. And blow him a kiss. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.